The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman sitting here for Larry Pesavento. Larry has uh, COVID. Spoke to him this morning. Called my show, and he sounded really scratchy. But uh, he's he's getting a lot better. But uh, oh, that, that COVID's uh, it's not good, especially this latter one. Uh, from my what I hear, a lot of friends have got COVID. Actually, it's a second time. All right. So what we're looking at here is the Dow's up 30, the S and P E mini is up 33 at 4402. What we were monitoring was this double top right here, um, where at about 12:10 this afternoon, uh, it went to uh, for the E mini went to 44.19, and then started slightly lower lower lows, slightly lower highs, and it kept doing that within this channel. And what we were looking at here in the den was how this five-minute chart had held up so well. Uh, I can't remember. Did I type this into the chart? Oh, I think I might have forgotten to do that. But do you see the way this blue line here, this unbalanced volume in the five-minute chart, made almost an exact high right here. That's leg F goes to peak F in the Chapman Wave methodology. Well, you see way, the way you started to make these lower highs and lower lows? And then I guess there's also a news event going on right now. I don't know what it is. But look at this. It was so ready. And up until here, look, this is the power of this 914. It was holding well, holding well. So you've got to use a shorter time frame, kind of what I did at the 45, uh, 14, 40, 44 a 13 level went short. Then I thought, well, oh, you know, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna be doing Larry's show. I don't want to be distracted, so I got out of it. And look what happened. They plunged from that level down to the 43s at 43.99 right now. Anyway, um, so let's just look at this in terms of patterns that we're looking at that give you a heads up, and then uh, either fail or confirm. So I like to look at patterns. I like to look at bar symmetry, et cetera. And one of the things that I'd, I'd done, and one of the reasons why um, last week, should I do this now? Um, yeah, I've been asked a lot about the bonds and the TLT. Uh, let, let me get back to that in a moment this time. So the TLT right now is up uh, down five cents. It's trying to make this low of 84.89 some kind of a support level. I must tell you that the actual chart formation is really negative. You would have to be, you'd have to see a spectacular V-shaped pattern going up to 98.50, almost 100, the 200 period moving average in the daily chart of that. Of course, I'm talking about averages, I'm talking about moving averages, I'm talking about the MACD, the moving average convergence divergence. I'm talking about the slow stochastic, I'm talking about on balance volume. I'm talking about the nine period crossing over the 14 period. These are all things that are anathema to Larry, Larry uh, Pesavento's technique. That's okay. Everybody has their techniques and whatever works, that's what you got to keep. Uh, uh, that helps you sustain your ability to, to make money in the market. So let me just show you something here because uh, we're all about technical analysis and trying to educate and, and look at patterns that repeat over and over. So I have a pattern that's called bar symmetry. Uh, it's where there are, you, you're at a particular price point, and then you go up. And then you start to arch over, because all the patterns I look at all the time are these patterns right here. Uh, right here. Straight line up or down. The cup formation or the arch formation. The market is made up solely of straight line up or down, a price point going down and then having a price point going back to test that recent high or that the high that was on the left side doesn't have to be recent or the arch formation. You can combine one and two or one and three. This is the dreaded H pattern because it makes it fails at a peak A or a B and then it tumbles all the way down and takes out the left side low. 
<clears throat> that's a very serious decline. And the way up, it's a fabulous move if we can make this reverse Y. I call it a green Y because if you take out the left side high, you can go much higher. All right, so let's just get back to what we're looking at here. What I'd done in the Dow is I would said from the low of the 25th of May at 32,586, to the rally and uh, to the rally of August the first at thirty five thousand six seventy nine, there should there's a possibility that we make an equal number once you got this arch formation that made a lowercase M that failed. I said, got to be careful because we could be going down to the Chap Wave Inside Wedge target support line, and that says that by October the sixth there'll be an equal number of bars going up. To the doji candle high of August the 1st, where we actually went short, we're still short, um, the Dow, to the way down, and that makes October the 6th really important. So Friday was October the 6th. We actually had a, short, uh, a long position in the three times long with a very tight stop. We got stopped out once, but I said we're getting closer and closer, and this 200, 300 point differential between the lows of May. And where we were said that if we had to take a position, I needed to either be absolutely correct or have a fairly tight stop. Well, the fairly tight stop held, so we are still long. And look what happened. The Dow went right to this resistance line. Look at this. Every time it gets there, it becomes either a support level or a resistance level. So now it becomes a resistance level. The high today is 33,898. And we're trading right now uh, 100 points off that. At 33,773, up 160 points in the Dow. So that's the one thing. So I wanted to show you using other techniques. Look, we've got a nice turnaround with the unbalanced volume. Here's the low. Now, the SP made its low on Wednesday, the Dow made its low on Friday. So on Friday, the unbalanced volume gave a nice little W formation and then turned up. Stochastic was way in the single digits. Now it's at 29%. I like that. The MACD has just crossed positive, and that's important. But you can see it, it's done it before and then started to fail. So holding positive is going to be very important to keep sustaining the move to the upside and then crossing this 200-period moving average and turning the – look at this pink 9-period moving average still way under the 14. And that's the reason why I've been saying I believe that we've made a low but not the low in this move that should – start to move even higher. So this means that we've, this is an area that we're going to be testing a lot of support. And I'm impressed that with the bad news, horrible, horrible, horrible news over the weekend, that with the war, that we're looking at the market saying, you know, we can be a little independent because we are kind of relying on other aspects. And one of those aspects is the dollar, which made a peak E in the chat wave. So let me just, for those of you new to my work, uh, I don't know why you should be new to my work. I've only been here over 22 years, talking about the same things all the time. However, we try to identify the lowest low bar and then merely count each successively higher peak, alphabetized in uppercase in the way up, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and lowercase in the way down. But it's the fourth highest peak at peak D that other things can happen. This went a little bit higher to E, and there's the channel that we'll look at when we return. I'll be back. Dow's up 162. S&P's up 27. Dazzle Chapman City. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago. And the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. We're back. Basil Chapman sitting in for Larry Perseventus. There's a couple of things I need to just do uh, very short term. I just want you to show you, look, the 200-period uh, moving average in the one-minute chart of the E-mini, wasn't even touched all the time since it broke to the upside back. And look, look, out, look how it held the support. Look at this, like a magnet, this two, orange 200-period moving average, because it's a long look-back period, 200 periods. And then it breaks away. So from 940, uh, 9.40 on the 10th, that's this morning, at 20 to 10, look what's happened. We've gone all the way to a high of 44.19, round number high right there. And then we've come back down, and that 200 period moving, of course, was moving up because the price is moving up. It got smashed. Now that's going to be really strong resistance, 44.04. If there's a rally at all, first of all, the pink nine period moving average has to move above the black 14 period moving average. And it's still pretty far away from that. From to get there, it has to get to 4402, uh, 4402, 4403, and then you can all of a sudden say, "Hey, that becomes the magnet line on the way up." So this is right now. Um, I think we've expended almost all our upside energy uh, going from the low of Friday, the low of Wednesday in the S and P, to the upside. And you can understand that there's just this moment. I guess there's a um, the news conference going on right now, but that's besides the point. We were really close, but looking at this chart right here, you see this beautiful arch formation, the way it just slowly made slightly higher highs, slightly higher highs, and then flat, double top, and then slightly lower lows, and then whoosh, whatever the news was, boom, we came down. Now we've hit this key support level that was all the way back from here. This is at um, 10.50 this morning, Eastern time. At 44, uh, 43.95.50, and we're at this moment at 43.99.25. So we bounced off that level. And here's the chapter we've inside wedge target support line. We'll see how much it can hold. But a lot of work has been done. Now let's go to a couple of other things because just showing these particular techniques. So using this technique, look what happened here. This is the dollar. So I I had it kind of in the background because I, I didn't need an up channel 
support line. I had the 14 period moving average. And look at the dollar. Now I'll just go to this chart because we've used this so we use it so well with the Dow. So let me show you something interesting. Um, in the dollar, this is the dollar index. Look, the price is pulled back, but that nine period moving average is still way above the 14. This is the weekly chart. Let's go to the daily chart. Daily chart right here. And you can see the price has now crossed quite a bit under. It's done that before, but as long as that nine period moving average is, I call it the the indicator of last resort. If that nine period moving average holds very well, you could see a bounce in the dollar, although I think the dollar is getting ready for a timeout, not giving you time, just saying a timeout, a breather, because of what it's done. But that's different to looking at an indicator. And this is the daily, and it says, EUR, USD, this is the euro dollar currency pair. Nice, look at this. A move up, pulls back very slightly and then goes even higher. But look at that nine period moving average, the pink line. Since it crossed negative right over there on the 28th of July, even big bounces haven't done anything. So is this the bounce that has enough torque to turn it into a momentum player? and start to move it from 1.06 where it is right now into this area, let's say 1.065. I hope I'm talking about the right thing here. Is that a six? Yeah, 1.065. Well, we'll see. And the USD JPY, I'll go to the real charts in a moment. This is just using a gray line uh, for the price of whatever symbol we're following. And the 914 go is green when it's positive, goes pink when it's negative, and this is the uh, this is the yen, the dollar yen currency pair. So let's look at this in real time with a daily weekly chart, and you can see within the context of the dollar, I'll open this out a little bit. This channel, uh, I, I really don't like to do this, but I'll do it. I'm making it nice thick green because on the way up, if it took that out decisively, that would have been really good. So that's green. This is red on the way down, a rising trend line, but the price is on the way down. I'll make it a little thicker style, make it thicker right there. And you can see this mini channel. Well, I say mini only because it's kind of a small channel. Look how the price held. Now, I have a technique that I talk about all the time. I'll do it right here. So um, within this context, let me make this. Now I'm going to go to the weight is green like that. And I'll put in another line, uh, um, new, make this red. And you can see using this, just this one technique alone, gave us an inkling that that little doji tiny candle, an indecisive candle at a peak E, when the price, when the MACD was very good, the stochastic was lower than it was before, the relative strength, the little gray line here, was lower than it was before, gave, it, gave you the sense that there was a chance, style, weight, here we go, that there was a sense that this was going to break down. And that's kind of what we anticipate. One of the reasons we took a little bit more off our long dollar position, a very long dollar position from way back of 2018. It's still long that dollar. And here it is, just about to pull back, and it's almost breaking that line. So we go to the UUP, which is the trading vehicle. UUP, um, that's the power shares, DB, US dollar bull. And you'll see right at the high, using just this one technique alone, you had this blue line give you the exact turnaround. They talk about moving averages being lagging indicators, but this particular indicator uh, gave you right there the doji candle high. Said so now you're going to be realizing that that you must. It's a little over overbought, and that it could start to pull back. But that nine period moving average, just like when we went on the Dow, I N D U, when we went on the Dow, this particular moving average right there gave the exact high on the 1st of August, and then you had to wait for the crossover, the negative crossover in the 914, about 11 sessions maybe, before it crossed negative to confirm that this Dow was went from a sell signal to a sell mode in the daily chart, and they made this big arch formation and failed. So I thought I'd just go through a couple of these techniques, try to make them as clear as I can, just to explain that patterns repeat over and over, 
technical uh, indicators that you use should repeat to be able to give you um, some sense of what to do. All right, so with that said, uh, a couple of questions came in. Um, GDX, we spoke about this in my show. So I do the Tiger Technician show at 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock each workday, each uh, market day. Um, and uh, I also have the opening call daily newsletter. So this is what we're looking at. So the GDX did a one-to-one. -one. So this is a technique that I, I'll talk about just briefly, actually, as we go to the break. This is a pattern where you come down sharply, then you start to make higher lows, but much higher highs. Then you stall, and it reverses and comes down. That's exactly the technique here, and gave a one-to-one -to, -one to the downside of the GDX. Now there's a pretty decent bounce. I'll be back in a moment. How's a trap for sitting here? Larry Pizzolanti. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. Basil Chapman for Larry Pizzavento. So I just want to show you that the gold got very oversold. You got uh, the little ictus right here, this low that was made. Uh, on the GDX, that's the gold miners at 2562. I may as well type that in 2562, 25.62. Percentage wise, we were up really nicely at 27.80 in just a couple of days. After all, that's about the speed with which you came down. Now you're coming up. Um, but look at this the turn up for the first time now, the MAGD has crossed positive. 
does it deflect lower in a couple of days or does it actually start to move up that allows this pink uh, nine period exponential? I've, the reason why I've got the one to one is because of the shadow wave falling X formation um, and also the large arch. But does this uh, nine period moving average actually go above to turn green above the 14? The, this is 2714 right now. And the black 14 period moving average is 2733. To cross positive, you would have to see the GDX getting real close to the 50 period moving average at 2849. And uh, so 2825 will really help, but we, we're not there yet. So this is a work in progress. And if you look at the monthly chart, lower lows, low highs, lower lows. But now you've got some impetus to move because the correlation, the, it's not an exact mirror image, but it's definitely a directional image where you get the dollar pulling back and you should have gold rally. As I said, they don't move. Look at this weekly chart of the dollar. That is not a very, very bullish pattern. Everybody kept talking about the dollar bull house. Fantastic. I, I just think this is going back. It went below the rectangle formation. It made a cup formation, then the U that goes to a double U, a second U. And what I'd say is I want to see three weeks of closes above, three, three out of two out of three consecutive weeks of a close above 105.88. It could be three out of four, but I have to see a majority of the, the closes above. And at this particular point at 105.88, the high of the week of was that uh, March? Yeah, March the 10th. We closed above it two weeks, ago, uh, three weeks ago. Last week we closed above it. And now this is the clue. Are we able to do that again? The MACD is good. The 9 is way over the 14. All of those are very positive. The stochastic is at 89%. I love over 80%. I love it, 90%. Uh, the MACD is good. So there's still internal strength in the weekly chart of the dollar. That means that the daily has to do almost a one-to-one -one from this move down to the trend line and going up to that area should take us to 105.25. Um, and that that will be really an important area. We take that out and you can be looking at the left side low of, in the dollar, the left side low of the week of, of 20th of, yeah, the day of 20th September at 104.67. And and I can then say, well, we're done with the upside resistance inside track repellent zone. We've broken the Chapman Wave inside track propellant zone, and that's going to become a resistance zone. If we get down to 105.50, then all of a sudden, remember we saw the same thing in the SMHs? Look at this, the weekly chart, it doesn't matter whether it's a weekly or a daily, the pattern's the pattern. And look what happened. A dreaded H, that's the lowercase H, that's that red uh, pattern that I was talking about earlier on. We were looking at the uh, the patterns. The, week, the daily chart of the SMHs, uh, very nice, good move from 139 to today's high of 150.98. I would say that that's pretty decent. Um, and now giving back some. And look, here we are. This is that inside track propellant zone that became a repellent zone and it's still a repellent zone because you're going to get decisively above that with good well the nine is still positive the nine period moving average and that gives you room to say that the seven and i should just mention for, for uh, disclosure purposes uh subscribe to the opening call we are short uh, the semis made an all-time high of 161.17 on the 31st of july we went short uh, two days later at the open and we're still short. We used to use the SOXS three times short as a trading position. But this time we've just stuck, stuck with just the short position, which we still have. And we're looking to see, and I said to subscribers, we're getting close to where I might have to consider whether or not we're going to go back uh, to the SOXS. But I haven't yet because we have to see what happens. And my contention always is where the semis go, the general market goes in the long term. So, okay. Now, what we want to do is to look. So, the question came in. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, bonds. Oh, there was a statement. Do you realize that the bonds, the TLT, is at, I think it meant a 15-year low? Yeah. I've been talking about this for some time, um, that the bonds 
that if you look at the TBT, that's the uh, TBT is the uh, ultra short Lima 20 year Treasury bond ETF, it broke to a new high above the high of 2018. It broke above it, it hasn't closed above it, and it did make a peak E in the Chapman wave. And if you're looking at um, the other techniques that I like to use, the nine is still really strong above the 14 period moving average. The MACD's turned down, but it's still very strong. The uh, stochastics now at 81%, over 80% is really good, but it's now at 81, it's turning down. But the blue on balance volume is strong, but that gray nine P, uh, uh, RSI, relative strength index over there, that's kind of weak. So it's just saying to me, this is going to be a very important couple of weeks coming up because there is still internal strength in the bonds, uh, in the bond yields, I should say, <laughs> Yeah, you go. This is the TNX. The TNX is the 10 year. And that has made a peak F today. There's no new high. This is where you start to see a chance. Peak F in the daily. F in the, it could be an alternative count, but for now I'm calling it an F. In the weekly, all the technicals are good in the weekly. So it's the price that's going to be the arbiter of the change of trend if there is. And that just says that if the TNX, the 10 year, Treasury note yield uh, doesn't have to close. It just has to once go below 44.24. That's 4.424 percent. It's at 46.45 right now, down a dollar 52. It just has to get into this, and you'll see that nine period moving average start to deteriorate. I don't know if that's going to get a negative, but that's what you need to see. So residual strength in the yields remains just on the shorter term. The TLT had a very nice turn to the upside. That's the Treasury, that's the iShares Treasury, 20-year uh, Treasury bond ETF. Didn't really break out yet. This is still a gray leg A because the stochastics are at still under 20% at 16%. Uh, On balance volume is extremely overbought, but it's still weak today. The relative strength has been improving and the MACD has improved, but it hasn't crossed positive. And that nine is way under the 14. And that just says the TLT to really get a change of trend. I'm talking about one that lasts a couple of weeks rather than this one and a half week rally. It needs to get to the 89.91 area to see that pink nine period moving average cross positive. That's a big ask. And I think it's going to take a little time. I'll be back. Basil Chapman sitting for Larry Pizzavento. Dow's up 173. S&P's up 30. Holding very steady. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, folks. I, being Larry's show, I thought that I would just show you a couple of things. Here is um, wheat, continuous contract. It made a high back in, was that February, March? Let me just check. That was in March of 2022. This is a continuous contract, so the prices will change, but none of the lettering, nothing else except that the price, uh, because it gets smoothed out. That was a high of 1500 just over 1500 1500 and a quarter. Is trading as we speak at 560. So there was a one to one to the downside <clears throat> based on this. Remember this falling. I, I, let me just show you the pattern again. So this is a pattern that I talk about where the price comes down sharply. It's actually the inverse of this. This is the pattern that I used to talk about a lot where the price goes up, goes up, goes up, and then it suddenly stalls, usually at a PD or an E. Third, the fourth or the fifth highest peak, and then it makes lower highs and much lower lows. And then it stalls and makes a cup formation. And it takes out the declining, expanding cone, declining cone. It takes out that upper trend line. Then it can do a one-to-one -to, -one to the upside. But the same thing is applied. It took me a long time to realize all you had to do was flip the chart upside down, and you got exactly the same thing. Look, the lettering is even upside down. I took the slide and reversed it. Comes down sharply, rallies up, and then fails, and then takes out that rising uh, lower trend line. And then all of a sudden, you've got yourself this pattern that I call the either it's it's either the uh, uh, I call it the inverted falling axe formation. Why? Because uh, it looks it look, this looks like an axe, right? Long handle. Whoops, where did it go? Long handle, this is the blade, expanding blade for the axe. And all you do is reverse it upside down, and that's right. So what we're looking at here is two things, very important to me. Wheat, nine-period exponential moving average, this pink line, all you have to do is use this one technique. And when it crossed negative on the 1st of August of 2023, that's also the day that we went short the Dow, um, but we do have a, a, an aggressive, very short-term trading position alongside. Look what happened. Pink, 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 pink. Not once did it go green. They're the dreaded H patterns. It goes to an A, an a and then fails, takes out the left side low. A and then fails, takes out the left side low. Does it over and over. A, B, and then it takes out the left side low. And then lo and behold, what do we get? We get pink, pink, pink trying to rally. Let me show you this in the chart with only the three things. That's the trend line. Uh, wheat does wheat. There are. Look, turns negative, negative, negative. And even here with this little rally, it couldn't turn up. So wheat. Now, this says to me there's a deflationary aspect that's not being recognized because, look, soybeans, pink, 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 pink trying its best to turn. There's not even a hiccup, not, not even a recognition of the turn up in, in the soybean daily contract. Look at this. 
a uh, corn, corn, as we say here in the Boston area, goes goes green, price pulls back, but is basically stuck in this rectangle formation. So commodities, we should be seeing some deflation here. We should see it in the supermarkets, but we know anybody been to a supermarket lately, the prices are, you just shake your head and you say, what? soybean, this is part of the DB contract, DB, food, DB agricultural fund, just turned green again. Look how spectacular it's been. So this is very interesting because talking chart patterns, <clears throat> what we have is the DB agricultural fund, we've been long since about 13, it's run up to 22, exact double top in a peak D with price symmetry based on this particular bar right here. Peak D, fourth highest peak in the Chapman wave. That's where you've got to be careful. Comes down to a trough C, rallies up again to a peak D. And exactly, how does the price know? 22.38 back in uh, uh, July. Comes all the way down to 21s um, and goes back to 22.38 in September, and then comes all the way back down. So what I'm looking at here is if you look at the DB Agricultural Fund, it's actually holding pretty well. But if at any point this fund, which also has sugar, um, starts to trade under 20.20, uh, let's just call it 20. At any point, if, if it's in the next few weeks, we should be seeing a very big decrease in the commodities as they relate to the goods and supermarkets. It'll take a little while to show up, but that's what we should expect. All right, now look at crude oil. Crude oil is trading down just 35 cents today, 86.03. Peak D, remember the fourth highest peak in the Chapman wave? It made that peak D right there. Was the If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. We got the S&Ps up by 10 points right now. Russell up by 15. You get the NASDAQ 100. We're up by 28. And the Dow up by 28 as well. S&Ps now up by 2 tenths percent. How about that, Russell, man? Up by 8 tenths percent. Catching a bid. We jump over to the VIX. Volatility index right now back to 1727, right near the lows of Friday as volatility premium abates as this market just keeps going higher. 
The 10-year right now, we're at 107.14. You get the 10-year yield sitting at about 4.7%. You know what I was going to do? If I pull it up and I jump around. Uh, talking about this article here, and this one was, Treasuries have the best day since March on the signs that the Fed may be done. This was talking about yesterday. This was out last night, okay? Now, what's remarkable here is, you know, it's tough to almost remember even where rates have gone so fast. Is this the one that has a different? No. So we were just at 4.2% like six weeks ago, and we were talking about 4.9%. That's a mammoth move, man. It's almost hard to remember that we moved that quickly. Does this one talk about the rates too? No, let's talk about Bank of America. Yeah, nonetheless, uh, rates higher, to put it lightly. I was going to pull up real quick. We always talk about the five-year ladder. Let me see if I can find it real quick as we talk in this final segment. Because we've been pushing about a 5.13% yield on a five-year ladder. And I imagine that number staying pretty consistent. And we are, again, today at a 5.13 yield. I mean, these numbers, man, uh, that's quite a risk-free rate of return, to put it lightly. We check in on crude, a little bit of a pullback on crude in the last few minutes. We're dropping from 86.40, we're down to an 85 handle at 85.71. We keep our eye on the dollar as we wrap things up. 